Okay, here we go again. So I bought the mirrors aftermarket from Amazon. Um, I bought the LED light. That's a Nylite brand LED light from Amazon. And it's real easy to install. You can see where I ran the power cord here. I still got to put heat shrink around this. Um, before anybody says anything about the cam or about the, uh, the spotlight, this is an old style mag light. I don't even hunt. I just use that for spotting hogs and other critters at night. We don't shoot anything. We spotlight though. It's mostly used for our protection. Um, the 2018 Pioneer has the nets there on all the models of Pioneer. I've taken the, the nets off the rear because they just get in the way. I don't very often have kids ride back here. If you have kids, I recommend leaving the nets. Of course, the 2018 comes with um, plenty of seat belts that go across your chest, across your lap. Overall, it's a really good vehicle. On the back, I've got some, uh, again, Nylite brand LED lights I bought on Amazon. I think these were $12, and uh, they work really good. And I uh, left the back up. It's sort of wet because I washed it down a few minutes ago trying to knock the mud off. Um, this is one of the features I like the most about this. I carry a lot of stuff like barbed wire fencing, chainsaw, um, other stuff in the back. And it's nice sometimes to be able to tilt the back. And this, this tilt has enough so if, um, if a grown man who weighs about 180 pounds is sitting in the back and you pull the handle, it will actually still lift up. So it has enough lifting power to lift that much weight at that angle. And that's a great feature. All right, put that back down. We'll put the seats up and take a look at the seats. So you just lift the seats up. They're not hard to lift up. Plenty of seat room. Left that down. Pull out your seat belt. Clasps. And uh, voila, it becomes a four-seater. I started to get the truck style Honda Pioneer and I uh, decided on this because sometimes we have kids up here at the farm, we carry kids around. But overall, it's a good vehicle. I'm really happy with it. Haven't had any trouble with it. And another thing I wanna mention about the Honda Pioneer, if you ever go on Craigslist and you're looking for a vehicle like this, pay attention to the type of vehicles that people are selling. A lot of people sell Can-Ams or Polaris, Rhino, or whatever other brands there are, very few people sell the Honda Pioneer. Most people who buy this keep it until they either trade up or buy a new one. And if they do trade it, they trade it back to a dealer. They don't sell them on Craigslist or Let Go or any of the other uh, marketing websites. So another feature about this, or not feature, another difference. Um, these are incandescent bulbs. They're not LED, the 2020 Pioneer, which I'll show you in a few minutes has LED lights, which are probably three times brighter. Um, what else can I say about this? I bought the windshield. This is a clearly tough windshield I bought aftermarket. I think the windshield was about $150. If you buy the Honda windshield, and this is the one thing I would say, don't buy at a dealer. I bought the roof at the dealer. I got a really good deal on it. The base model does not come with a roof. They put the roof on at the dealership when I bought the uh, vehicle, and the roof was about $200 extra. If you buy it aftermarket, you're going to pay about $450. I got it at dealer's cost because I bought the vehicle and I paid cash for the vehicle, so they gave me um, a really good deal on the roof. But they could not mark down the windshield. I don't know why, so I, I didn't get the windshield. I bought it on uh, Amazon, and it's clearly tough. It was about 180, I think. Uh, the Clearly Tough brand, one of the things I like is that's an anti-scratch windshield and it won't fog up after a few years like a lot of the windshields will. I've seen some that fogged up even after three or four months. The windshield just gets, uh, it has a white, white tint to it. But overall, this is a great vehicle. I'm very happy with it. The only thing I really don't like about it is uh, there's no sort of storage under the dash. You can buy some under dash storage that's really expensive. So what I do is I put all my stuff usually in the cup holders. And um, oh, by the way, here's the here's the controls for both the lights. For the, this is the rear light, and that's the front light. 
And this, this is where I plug the mag light up. It's got a power port, which is just an old style cigarette lighter plug. Um, open the glove compartment. There's the owner's manual that comes with all of them. If you're gonna be riding, riding in a dusty environment, I forgot about this. If you're in a lot of dust all the time, it's a good idea to buy something like this. I use these a lot if I'm out on, on, the, uh, on the dirt road. Anyhow, there's not a lot of storage in here, but you know you can keep a couple of things in it. You got this little storage compartment right here. Um, you can go four-wheel drive with diff lock here, four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. Then you got park, neutral, and drive. And another feature about the 2018 700 four-seater. Now this is the deluxe model with power steering. So if you put it in uh, manual shift you have paddle shifters so you can use your paddle shifters to shift i keep it in auto because i found found that it's just a lot less trouble i really like auto and of course this is your emergency brake that's your light switch and um here's your display and i'm going to crank it so you can see now here's something a lot of people don't know about the honda pioneer the pioneer has an electric fuel pump so when you crank it here's the proper way to crank it I hope you can see what I'm doing. You turn the key and look at the dash. Wait until all the lights on the dash quit blinking and they stabilize because that gives the, the fuel pump time to prime. Then you crank it. Cranks first time every try. This model, I bought it, it's a 2018. I bought it in uh, December of 2019, right before Christmas. So it was about a year old, but it only had, I think, six miles on it where people have been, had been uh, demoing it. You know, nobody bought it and I showed up. It was the last one. I got a really good deal on it. Um, anyhow, here's the dash. So the dash is really simple. It shows you the fuel, uh, what gear you're in, your miles per hour. You can push the button right here and you can see how many hours you got on it, how many miles you've been. And uh, you can even do a trip set on it. So, anyhow, that's the uh, 2018 Honda Pioneer. And uh, now we're going to swap over to the 2020 Honda Pioneer 1000 three-seater. Okay, this is a quick video while we're driving the 2018 Honda Pioneer 700 four-seater. I want to show you how it sounds while we're driving. It's pretty loud. That's a downfall. Surely they could have put a muffler on this, it would have made it a lot uh, quieter. And by the way, I highly recommend the windshield. Without the windshield, you have to wear something over your face, especially if there's a lot of bugs out. But as you can see, there's plenty of room for four people. Everybody's got their seat belts on. Uh, we're on a public road, it drives great. We have the off-road tires. So uh, we're very happy with it. And by the way, this tops out at about 42 to 45 miles an hour, depending on how much weight you've got in it. Okay, here we are. Uh, continuing, here's the comparison between the uh, 2021 Honda Pioneer 1000 three-seater, which is a really fine looking vehicle, and the 2018 Honda Pioneer 700 four-seater. So as you can see, this has a different color blue. I really like the color. It's got the dual clutch transmission. Um, I don't know if you can tell it from this picture, but uh, the tires are bigger and knobbier on the 1000. The 1000 has some really nice tires. They're a 14 inch rim versus a 12 inch rim on the uh, 700. There's a lot of difference in power in these. The biggest difference is uh, the, the powertrain and the engine. The engine is a dual cylinder engine in the 1000, single cylinder engine in the 700. But I'll tell you, the 700 has lots of power. You can put four, four people in it, it climbs a, a 45 degree hill with no problems. These are both excellent machines. They have the same general feature set. This one has the cup holders. The other one doesn't. Um, this one has two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. You can you can do the diff lock. It's got the paddle shifters just like the 700 does. 
it's a really good strong machine that's the bed tilted up um, we can push the bed back down to get a, a better view of it there you go so that's really nice let's push the bed down on this one and here's another thing the body panels are thinner on the uh, 2021 than they are on the 2018 and it feels like the plastic is a little bit stronger I know some people would disagree with that but it feels more rigid anyhow from the rear they look about the same the muffler is mounted uh, side to side on the rear and you can tell the tires are they're not just bigger they're wider too but the general uh, the general frame is built the same so let's look at the 1000 first it's designed so you can go ahead and put a second battery in there's already a cavity for a battery it's real easy to plug up a battery very clean design now on the 700 it's not designed for an extra battery you can put one in here and in fact a lot of people do and I'll put a link in the description to a kit you can buy where you can add a second battery with a uh, couple of different things you need to plug it into your existing electrical system. Um, this Pioneer 1000 is a deluxe, so it has the four-wheel drive, the power steering, which, by the way, if you buy any Pioneer, whether it's a 700 or a 1000, no matter what year, make sure you get the deluxe model. Do yourself a favor and buy something that's already got power steering. You won't be sorry. Both come with nets. You can see that both, we both have our nets secured in a position. A lot of people, when they buy these, they take the net off. I left my nets on the front because a lot of times kids will ride in here and they don't like the limbs hitting them, so they uh, want the net down. I took the net off the back altogether because no matter who rides in here, they always just move the net out of their way. I understand it's a safety feature, but most people just don't like the net, so... What else can I say? What am I forgetting about this? So this roof and this, uh, you see there's a little bit of difference in the uh, windshield in the windshield, that's right. The, this is a Honda windshield. It's a um, stock windshield. It's it, it doesn't come on the vehicle. You have to pay extra to get it put on. The roof also is extra. But both of them have a Honda roof. This windshield is a clearly tough windshield. Both of them have, are scratch resistant, uh, really strong windshields. And uh, I think that's about it. Great vehicles. I highly recommend a Honda. And by the way, I'm wearing a Honda shirt. Okay, back at the Pioneer 1000. I knew I was forgetting something earlier. So this mirror is a really good mirror. This is aftermarket. It's real simple to put in. How long did it take to put this in? Four minutes. Four minutes. You can buy it on Amazon. It's fairly expensive, but it's worth it. It's uh, it's actually rounded, which gives you a uh, a nice field of view. And I don't know why they don't put this stock on all the uh, Pioneers. This has an extra shelf, which you can buy on Amazon. And I'll put a link to both these in the description. This takes about 30 minutes to install. Uh, the hardest part is actually connecting it with these plugs to your dash. You gotta drill a couple of holes and take out a couple of screws that are there. Put in these uh, screws that come with the product. But this is really nice to have. There's not a lot of storage built into these vehicles, so it's good to have something where you can put a couple of bottles of water. You always need water when you're going out. Or put a uh, bug spray or whatever you're carrying with you. So, oh, and I didn't cover the, uh, the gas cap on these. You actually put your gas in right there. It's really simple. Um, and that's it. Okay, one more thing. I always forget something when I'm reviewing two things side by side. If you can tell, the Honda Pioneer 1000 is slightly wider than the uh, Honda Pioneer 700. And that's the same on all models, whether you buy the 2018, 19, 20, 21. Um, the, the 1000 is always bigger, and I think it's, it's just a beefier vehicle. It has a little bit stronger suspension. 
let's get a front view of it to see uh, what it looks like from the front there you go it's just a really nice looking side by side and you know having a more narrow uh, vehicle in the 700 sometimes will work for you because a lot of trails you go down in the woods or a river or wherever are really narrow plus on a trailer when you pull the pioneer 1000 on a trailer on uh, most trailers that are 14 feet you uh you pull it on you've only got a couple of inches on either side of freedom when you pull the 700 on the trailer you've got a good six inches on either side so you can walk alongside of it or or you know there's easier access to tie it down so there you go okay a couple of more things and i think this is it notice the holes right here okay these holes are pre-drilled so that you can put a bumper on the pioneer 1000 which is good because you will back into a tree and uh dent the rear end knock your muffler loose or something the pioneer 700 does not have pre-drilled points to hook a muffler onto but it's got this bar that runs along the back which protects you but a lot of times you'll back up and you'll hit a tree with this and one more thing if you see in the uh if you look at the 700 you'll see that it's got this parking brake um i always put the parking brake on it's just a habit even if i'm on level ground there is no parking brake on the 1000. notice when you put it in uh park it automatically locks everything up so no need for a parking brake which is nice <laughs>